the secret things belong to our God, but that which you reveal belongs to us and our children and men to the works of the Lord. It's the glory of God, Proverbs 20, Proverbs 20, 20, uh, Proverbs 25, verse 2. It's the glory of God to conceal a matter, but the honor of kings is to search it out. I quoted Deuteronomy 29, 29 first. Now listen to me. You want to know the secret of what the enemy is planning? It's only going to be revealed to the righteous. Think of all the research and all the secret service. Now thank God for them. They're doing an excellent job. Kudos. Appreciate. God Almighty will continue to guide you, to, to bless you, to, to just protect and preserve you. But the church needs to wake up. We have a real prime position and assignment. And we have been loaded with the Holy Ghost who will show us things to come. Is a revealer of the will of God. Is a helper of our infirmities. Infirmities means inability and weaknesses to produce. Elisha was in his living room. And the king of Syria, they were planning evil against Israel. They want to strike. Everything they plan, their war plan, their secret plan, God Almighty will reveal it to Elisha. Elisha will tell the president of the country. Hey, look at the intermediary. I am the Lord. I change it not. God is waiting for people that will be living in his bedroom, so to speak, that can communicate to God on the mercy seat in between the Shekinah glory. They are not sitting on the judgment seat. Mm? They are not sitting on the seat of condemnation. They are sitting on the mercy seat, looking at Jesus face to face. I will not leave you until your presence goes with me. They are beholding his face. Moses did as in the glass in the mirror. Now we see him face to face. He said, God knew Moses face to face. Panim, the face of God. Jacob, Peniel, he was changed. He received Israel when he saw the face of God. Every secret deal of Syria revealed. You don't need anybody to be sent there to, to Syria. The man got it. He got the answer. He got the answer. He got the answer right in his living room. Do you have the answer to the problem of the world, of your nation, of your country, of your state, even of your family? Get into prayer. When? Now. With who? Well, if you're in the area, Thursday, 7 p.m., be fasted. Come in. Let us be at the burden together. Our nation will know peace. And the nations of the earth shall experience the power of the Prince of Peace. Don't forget, blessed are the peacemakers. Hey, we don't confess peace. We make it. Shall be well with you. Watch this example. I mean, do we have Why can't we pray for the troubled nation? Most nations are troubled. I'll tell you something, man. All over the place. In our country right now, we just saw what happened in Orlando. They brought it down home. They saw what happened not too long ago in Bangladesh. Um, we, we witnessed something shortly in Turkey. Everywhere is just troubled. The son of man is to come and establish peace all over the nations of the earth. Is this Syria I'm going to talk about? Is it Iraq? About 120 people died yesterday. 143, thank you, sir. They were just gone, just like that. But we can do something. I said we can pray. I said we can pray. I want us to pray for the troubled nation. The God Almighty, the Prince of Peace, will come down and manifest His peace. Well, thank God for this nation. This nation has always been bailing folk out. They bail all the people out. America is God's police all around the nations. I believe very strongly. I believe Africa, in particular Nigeria, is God's intercessor. I believe it. You might doubt it. You know, but God loves this nation. And there is nothing you can do about it. And America will remain the lover of God. Can I get the loudest amen? Can I get the loudest, loudest amen? Say, Father. 
we stand in the gap for every troubled nation all over the earth. Prince of peace, Prince of peace, Prince of peace, come down. Go ahead and pray. Prince of peace, we need you. We need you in Turkey. We need you in Orlando. Come on, open your mouth and pray. We need you, Jesus. We need you in Bangladesh. We need you. Intervene. Silence every enemies of peace, enemies of liberty. Silence them. Confound them. Confuse them. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. We need you in Syria. We need you in in Iraq, a cocate meledosis and pretusa cate recuta la bros. You heard about Brexit. You heard about British. We need you in the EU. Go ahead and pray. We need you in the European Union. Jesus, a catusa cata, prake tola bridos, and tola brotisa, preco tola be. We need your wisdom. We need your power. We need your presence. We need your intervention. We need you, Jesus. Maketo, we need you in the Caribbean. Maketo, among the impoverished nations, we need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. Eketo, Kaparagidos. We need you. We need you in our land.